So bar staff, um, apparently... Do they reckon they get more tips? They get. They, oh, they believe all it. reckon believe they it. get more tips mm. when they wear pigtails. But they do the mm-hmm. Kardashian pigtails, they do French braid into pigtails. It's when there's a difference. There's French braid into pigtails, which Kardashian style, which is hot, and like you can get away with it, and that's when the girls get more tips because they're kind of appealing to the like... Lolita thing and then there's the like National Trust lesbian pigtails do you know what I mean (laughs) (laughs) content warning Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term, ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Hello, welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, him a big fat cunt, and then there are other people here as well, aren't there? Yeah, there are. Yeah. Uh, please welcome special guest producer. Yeah. Simon Lomas. Yeah! Hello. We've had quite the upgrade this week. A yeah. uh, little not gay time is off fulfilling his prophecy, uh, marrying a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. And we've got Simon Lomas, yeah. who has worked extensively yeah. as a producer for every major show. Oh, yeah. He knows what he's doing. In uh, the world. Yeah. You've been so excited that you're on it. I'm one of the best. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, with that level of confidence, I feel in safe hands. Talk your shit, Simon. I love it. Uh, Also, we have returning guest, uh, friend of the show. Old Maribel. Uh, Old, ugly ass Maribel. (laughs) It's Hattie Preston. Good to have you, mate. Thanks. Thanks for having me back. I wanted to be on such sparkling form today, but I have, I am on four hours sleep and a four hour drive and four hours the night before. So I'm going to, I'm going to sparkle in spurts, I think. Okay. A spurty sparkle. Do you have a a hangover? No, I'm fucking knackered. Like I'm just knackered, but I don't have a hangover. I've I've had that. I've finished that. I'm a little bit hungover because I like to get drunk on my own. Yeah, but (laughs) it's so bleak. So Freddie's life, however bleak you think it is, it just (laughs) Just, always escalates one more. It just gets worse. Yeah. I got shit faced, watched Glastonbury, and got into arguments on Twitter with people about mm-hmm. how Elton John is the world's greatest living rock star. Yeah, because Freddie likes one musician, <laughs> and it's Elton John. Is is it? He really it's like Elton guy. I was a couple of years ago on Spotify, I was the top 1% of people that listen to Elton John. I love that about you. Thank you. That's what I love about you, Freddie nuance, you know? Yeah, like yeah. Every now oh, and yeah, again. he's such a nuanced, <laughs> subtle guy. That's what I always think of when I think Freddie Quinn. That's someone who will have a subtle approach to this topic. <laughs> I, I I I will still defend it. He's yeah. the greatest mm-hmm. living rock star. So did you watch the whole show? Is that what got you drunk? You were just so emotional. Yeah. Uh, I was already pissed at the time, uh, but I was watching Succession. Uh, Don't say anything. What's well, sorry? Damn, I haven't finished it. Okay, well I have. Uh, I'm nowhere near finishing Fine, okay, it. fine. You played um, Rocket Man. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if I've ruined yeah. that for you. Um, so, yeah, I, I did that. I'll tell you how drunk I got yesterday. Yeah. I uh, filled out an online form to adopt a dog. <laughs> For fuck's sake, you've already got a dog. Do you have to keep? Is it like one of those adopt ones in Africa, or is it? No, like, no, no. You it's have to like keep it. It's like uh, you. F- it, it's like there's a dog shelter that was like, oh, we are looking for a new home for this gorgeous dog. Yeah. And I was like, that is a gorgeous dog. Oh my god! I just, do, you, do you want to see the form so much? I want to see. I the really form want to so see much. what he wrote. I want to see his little application. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him a good home and I'll brush him every night. <laughs> and I'm gonna sing Yellow Brick Road yeah. every promise, single morning. I promise I won't fuck it. I absolutely <laughs> promise. Honestly, you could have had a less gay night in a gay yeah. sauna. <laughs> like, if you'd been bukkakied last night, it would have been less gay Elton than what you actually did. Dog. Yeah, glugging his bottle oh. of rosé, weeping yeah. up because he's seen a Highland Terrier on the internet. It wasn't Getting rose. into bitchy discussions on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't rosé, it was red wine. Oh, sorry. I'm oh, so sorry. Sorry, you really you're, you're a gay man from the Noel Coward days. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want? And also uh, beer as well. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. yeah. The gays can drink yeah, that as well, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it happen. Was fucking leathered. Yeah, I was getting all so emotional. Leathered. Just by yourself. What? Just by yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is what happens when he enjoys something, though. This is so rare for Freddie to actually. I'm genuinely quite moved by this story. What do you mean? Do you enjoy so little? Like you just don't really like find joy in anything, do you? So like the fact that you've enjoyed your little gay night is really nice. I enjoy alcohol, but the reason that I enjoy alcohol is because I, I do really bad 
at just sitting there doing nothing. I, I physically, I physically cannot do it. Mm. It's and I, I get. He enjoys a modern art. Did you know that about Freddie? Found yeah, that yeah. About Freddie recently. I know. Yeah, yeah. It's very funny. Isn't Loves it? a modern art. Yeah, and like to be honest, you can sit there and do nothing, and you have been doing a little too much, if anything. Rather than booze, you know, when you're getting fidgety, maybe go for a walk. Shut up. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not even taking that with any fucking seriousness yeah. whatsoever. All right, I think probably the reason you feel fidgety is because you don't move. Yeah. Your body's going, It's please, cortisol, it's desperate. Please, yeah. <laughs> just move any bit of me a little bit. I do enjoy a bit, a bit of modern art. That's what I do when I'm in London. I go around and look yeah, at galleries does. and stuff. Uh-huh. And yeah, I'm like a little... Um, but you get angry about street art. You're like, keep it in sight. Yeah, I don't like street art. That's yeah. not real. Do you get any discussions with the people, the stewards around the museum? Just like, no, it's not good. It's not good art. No, it's just, I just thought, oh, wow, you've tagged a building, aren't you, Arge? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. draw something on a canvas. Stop they being a prick. <laughs> right, you follow the rules. That's what art's about. <laughs> no, not even necessarily follow the rules. It's just like, I just hate this. Like, oh, it was a train and it was going dead fast, but I got it. Fuck they off. Don't, they don't, don't, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Do you think the way graffiti artists work is to sort of like... Get a helicopter to dangle <laughs> next to a moving train. It's not about how fast the train was going when you paint it, you fucking moron. The skill they break of in, carrying it out. They yeah. break into the train sheds and paint them while they're still. You, you think fucking... fancy is Tom Cruise? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was excellent. Well done. Well done. Oh, oh, oh God, he's so good. He's he bringing is. so much to the yeah. show, isn't he? I would say he is the top one producer. Best producer. Best producer we've had. Best producer I've never Game. Worked with a more um, a stronger producer. Neither have we. No. Neither have no. we. No. Just no. nice. Nice to have a little bit of professionalism. Do you Thank know you for that, who Simon. I got asked to work with? Uh, Segway. Uh, you know who I got asked to work with? <laughs> can someone clip that for me, please? Just him saying that, so we can throw it in as a sound yeah. effect. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come um, in very handy. So I got a phone call on Thursday. Yeah. Uh, Good morning, Britain again. No, 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 no. Although they have been ringing a lot recently, yeah. and I've been paying them off because I can't be asked going down to London. Yeah. Anyway, right, uh, I, I, I got a phone call on Thursday. Spoiler alert, I was already quite drunk. <laughs> I had the uh-huh. night off, I was already quite drunk. I had a phone call from this guy who got my number. He'd emailed me originally and he was like, hi, I would like to talk to you about a gig that I am booking and I would like a gig booked. And I was like, oh God. And he went, can I have your number? And because I was drunk, I was like, yeah, it's this. So... Have you got some good Elton John opinions? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you just text him also like, he was like, oh, I accidentally sent you a a pin to a public toilet. Sorry, just uh, ignore that unless. So I I, I rung him, right? Uh, Sorry, he rung me and he was like, oh, I want you to do this gig. How much would you charge? And it was like a Sunday night in like Nuneaton in a fucking barn somewhere. Uh And I was like... Finally, some doors you can get in. (laughs) What's that smell? <laughs> oh, Quinn's here to set up the gig. <laughs> no, it's not to set it up, just to be on. Oh, right. right. Yeah, yeah. So um, they were like, how much would you charge? And I, in my head, I was like, I don't really want to do this. Mm-hmm. And so it was a Sunday night. And so so I'll overcharge. £40. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I said, I said... I said, how much for a 20-minute set? And I said, 300 quid. Because uh-huh. right? I'd go yeah, to... to close it out, to open it. I didn't even okay, fucking... Fine. I yeah, was yeah. like, I'll do it for 300 quid. Uh-huh. Do, do, do you know what I mean? On a Sunday, yeah. that's not bad money. Uh, and he was it's like... ridiculous money for you. He was like, oh, yeah. He was like, oh, yeah. Okay, because you're going to be on with so-and-so. Well, I'll tell you. He said, you're going to be on with Steve Hughes. And I was uh-huh. like, fine, okay. Yeah. Um, and he was like, oh, and also as well, there's a guest speaker in the middle. <gasps> and I was like... Right. Is that a flex on an open mic? Okay. <laughs> I've been on Bells where I should be called a guest speaker. <laughs> but I was like, I, I, I said, am I closing or opening? And he goes, oh, you're going to open. And I was yeah. like, oh, well, if there's a guest speaker on and I'm opening, I, I couldn't give two fucks because I'll be out the fucking door. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It does depend goes, who it is. Yeah, obviously. Well, 
right? But but I didn't register because I'm pissed. I don't register. You're also thick. There's a guest yeah, speaker. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, very yeah. venal. And there's cash on the table. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Mate. Oh, the, also, the, get off. How many comedians actually are turned down? Like, there's so few people who could be on a bill where I'd be like, no. Honestly, <laughs> I, I might. Uh, there's quite a lot of people where I might ruin the night. If oh, they yeah, were yeah, stay, mate, yeah, yeah. Honestly, for 300 quid on a Sunday, there could be a guest cross burning. <laughs> I would not be asked. <laughs> Famously like, do you need to me to stick around with the petrol yeah. or should I just go? You'd be fucking roasting marshmallows on it. <laughs> 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 Making little racist s'mores for yourself. <laughs> A white dress. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, this actually fits. <laughs> really free flowing. What, like when Homer Simpson? Yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. in a moo moo. <laughs> clown pants. Yeah. Maybe a clan outfit yeah. is the look for you. Yeah. So, so they're finally breathable. So, okay. right. Um, I, they said all oh, this. And I was like, all right, fine, whatever. Stick it in the diary. And he goes, um, he goes, yeah, he goes, just so you know, by the way, we're not woke. There's no oh. snowflakes at this gig. He went, you can say whatever you want and the woke karate are not going to come after you. I went, mate, can I stop you there? Uh, and he went, what? And I went, I said, can we take this out? Yeah. And he went, what do you mean? I said, I'm going to be honest with you, mate. You've just said every word that gives me alarm bells that I don't like. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, no, no, we're a freedom of speech night. I like, said, you're not yeah. helping, mate. I, I was like, that's <laughs> another word. I said, yeah, that's yeah. another one. I said, it's got nothing to do with freedom of speech. And he was like, I, d- I don't know what you mean. He goes, I said, look, if you market the night like this, yeah. I said, I don't want any part of it because I don't want to court that audience. I guess it's also, it's all weirdly acts being more prescriptive than any night that doesn't say anything because you turn up being like, oh, fuck. Yeah, like, also like for me, it just uh, removes a lot of the fun of like walking audiences to the edge as well. If yeah. they're just wanting you to say the worst thing you possibly can. This is it. There's know, no fucking, there's no pleasure in preaching to the converted. Yeah. So, so our tour was shit. And I'm joking, he, said was to, he said to me, he goes, well, you did Comedy Unleashed. Yeah. And I went, yeah, I did. I said, when I did Comedy Unleashed, I did the same set that I did at Brighton Comedia the yeah. fucking two days beforehand. It's all a fucking... Yeah. And it's not like, you know, it's not like uh, we're not pro-freedom of speech or anything like that. It's just can't be asked getting like dragged into that culture war shit. It's really boring. Yeah. And like we can just ignore it and uh, have fun. So anyway, yeah, he, he, he then tries selling me on the guest speaker that I get to meet. Oh, like any guests? Now, is, okay, I, well, hang on. I, 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 my, uh, can, I, can I bid... Matt Letissier. That's my bid. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm putting in a Letissier Wayne as Lineker. my opening bid. No, no, no. Wayne Lineker. <laughs> I'd do it. I could go. I'd do it. Over 30. In a barn in Nuneaton. Yeah. Who have we got? <laughs> Who have we got? Have we got higher than a Lineker? <laughs> it's so much lower than a Lineker. Oh, I can't but, actually okay. even remember his name because he was an academic. It was like, and I was pissed again. It was like yeah. Richard Verunch or something like oh, that, nice. right? And I was in. <laughs> You kill. Richard Verunch. <laughs> I think I might have just heard lunch. <laughs> I think so. Like, um, there'll be a munch bunch there. Put it back in. Um, uh, uh, a freedom of each, you say? He goes. He goes. He goes. Um, he goes uh, uh, and he's he's a speaker. And he's going to talk all about uh, the totalitarianism in the government at the moment. Mm-hmm. And I went, mate, honestly, you've got the wrong fucking person yeah, for this. Yeah, yeah. I said, I don't want any. I couldn't stress to you more that this isn't the kind of thing that I, I want to do. I want to make rape jokes. <laughs> that literally yeah, yeah. it. I know, literally yeah, yeah. it. I yeah. just want to make rape jokes. I don't want to have a fucking yeah. long discussion about how it's... I'm the same. I just want to make horrible jokes. I don't want to have to like go on a fucking uh, debate show and talk seriously about stuff. Fuck <laughs> off. I don't care. I'm just going to carry on saying horrible oh, age jokes. Yeah. Mate, so in the end, he goes, he goes, but why won't you do it? And I went, mate, I said, I, I just, it's not my, yeah. I said, it's just, it's not my bag. You don't want me. And he goes, oh, he goes, I'm going to have to go. My wife's telling me to get off the phone. <laughs> and I, went, I, went, I picked you one of those corded phones. Yeah. You know, where he's like, ahoy, ahoy, yeah. operator, <laughs> get me the fattest cunt you have. No, that's too fat. She's going, she's going, she's going <laughs> 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 Oh, getting uh, told off by his wife. And I, Aren't they and men to be all like, oh, trad wife, know your role sort of people? That's why yeah. they're so fucking desperate for freedom of speech because they have literally not one single iota of it in their home. Like, <laughs> that's why they leave the house and they're like, oh my God, we're free. Yeah. No, uh, like, oh. Whereas I, I constantly shout abuse at my yeah, feminist exactly. girlfriend. <laughs> I just found it was just so fucking odd 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, just the, the conflation of comedy with that is that I just I, I don't really like uh, it just getting too serious on both sides as well. Like I'm not I'm just not I'm sides, just yeah. not asked about that. I don't want to be yeah. you know, so leading a discussion. A it's like do you understand how we work? Like we like to make a room full of people laugh. That yeah. sole objective is make them laugh. Yeah. If I start something and I have to hard pivot because the rooms are I will hard pivot. Like yeah. Yeah. to come in and be like, you should really be doing this. It's like we'll find yeah. it in the room. That's the whole point. Of My it. thing. And I'm I'm just not angry about like uh like you know people complaining on the internet like i'm gonna be apparently i just don't yeah. care when i did comedy like my thing is i like to bring people as close to the line as possible and i like to take a shit on the line and just sort of step I mean, over it you, you, like, you then... are you are making it out like you do more stages before you get to the line like what you do is <laughs> you bulldoze over the line like the fucking kool-aid man like that is he will just and then kind of blunder like, through it's like boop, right boop, we're boop, at the boop, other boop, side boop, of the line now yeah. what of it this is it right yeah. so most people work their way towards yeah, the line like, we'll go jab 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 whereas, jab whereas, and then i'll keep them around there yeah. whereas boop, my boop, technique is slightly different bosh. I, I overshoot the line by yeah. about a mile yeah. and then we work our way back yeah 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 <laughs> But you do it like they're like, <laughs> 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 yeah. like sneaky McSneakerson. No, no, there's no sneak with Freddie. That's it the thing. He's back over. He it just goes, he just wanders up and he sort of stands there and just goes, right, <laughs> we're in. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I don't want to fucking be associated with. I this just can't old... be asked. It's like it's it's all like fucking GCSE politics. Like you know, like everyone's just having like these big discussions and yeah. stuff. And I'm just like, ah, I just want to talk about me knob. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not. That's the thing. When did you start heading to art to like feel safe and supported in all your views? Like when was when did that yeah. happen? When did people think like the artists? It's like this is a complete opposite. We like. Do you see that woman who got uh, bullied fucking uh, on Glastonbury? Oh, Billy No Mates, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. So Billy, Billy No Mates is like, uh, she's sort of like an indie punk sort of artist, a little bit electronically. Absolute she, shit. It right. is. Come on, let's be I like, I like her music. Like, I yeah, really it, do. It's dog shit. Right. This is what I love about Freddie going back to the art thing. Anything Freddie doesn't like yeah. has no value whatsoever in the whole yeah. wide world. It's yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah. thing in the world. Like yeah. the clips I get so said, absolute. Like, if he finds a comedian he doesn't like, he's like, this is the dog shittest comedian that yeah. has ever fucking let me like, it's he's so not great. Ca he's not capable of yeah. nuance. I, I, mean. I said like, the Patty, most just binary. So many, so many clips <laughs> uh -huh. of comedians that have put things on the internet that I. I know believe. I get a lot of yeah. these as well. Like you know, it's not like you don't have my number. It's like I'm also getting a lot of videos of look at this fucking. But cunt. it's the so, fury that accompanies yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It's there's, so good. So there's one lad who uh, I run some gigs with. I run close up comedy with. He's called Harry. He's a nice guy. Uh, he started off in comedy himself. And we have a thing where every, I reckon maybe at least once every two days, there's one comedian that we both cannot stand. <laughs> and this person will upload clips to Instagram yeah. and it'll be a race to see who can send the other one them first to be like, how shit is this? Uh, I do, I do absolutely. Like, there are definitely like people I still follow on Instagram just to be just like, the, yeah, fucking I know. hell. I always love it when a shit comedian starts doing a joke a day challenge. So, like, mate, you've not written one in six years. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to hit 365 this year, <laughs> you know? So I'll start pumping them out on Instagram, <laughs> recording themselves every day doing the worst joke you've ever heard yeah. be like eh? quantity eh? quantity wasn't the issue was yeah. it <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sure you can God. pump out loads of unfunny sentences <laughs> Just, yeah, you know, let's maybe wind it back. Let's no, aim really for one. Yeah. Let's aim for one and go from there. I'm also sorry I steamrolled over Billy No Mates. I did that. Oh, yeah, like you and the internet. I know I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so she performed at Glastonbury and, like, she's quite, like, you know, she's the sort of thing where if you uh, don't really like music, like, you might not mm -hmm. get it, you yeah. know, so, like, yeah, anger's I... the thick. So, like, uh, some people, like, commented online going, like, ah, this is fucking shit. Uh, to the extent that she was like, ah, I think I might just not do music anymore. But I think she definitely will. I think it was just like she That's was sad in stuff. the moment. Yeah, we all do it. Um, yeah. But like, yeah, like the thing with it was, like, as soon as I read that story, I was like, oh, that's terrible. Let's go have a look. Oh, right. Yeah. And, you know, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Try to go have a look. I didn't think it was that bad. No, the stuff I read. Like, I didn't see her fucking DMs, though. So, you know, I, like, I got to couch it with that. But most of it was just like, ah, this is shit. And which, you know, as the kind of thing like, you got to... Do... But this is what I never understand about artists. It's like music, musicians, same as comedians. Or I guess maybe not now because of the whole TikTok thing. But like, you've gone through 
all the shittest things. Like we've done open mics, they've mm. done their equivalent. You've lived in the fucking sewers for six years. How are comments the worst you've ever had? Like yeah. how are strangers on the internet the worst that's ever thing that's ever happened to you? I yeah, just think, I think if you're already point, like fragile of fuck, then it'd maybe. be the thing that tips him. But like it does feel yeah. a bit like a chef uh, closing down the restaurant because there were too many unfinished plates. Yeah. I do, although I do, I am a strop. I can throw a strop. I'm definitely someone who like Do you I, burn I, gigs down yeah, when you're having yeah. a strop? No, I don't. I actually yeah. will never do that. I've been on bills with comedians who do and I fucking hate it. I'm the same. I fucking hate I that shit. I fucking hate it. Like, I'll go down with my ship, but I won't yeah, take the whole yeah. place I'm, down I'm with going me. down yeah, swinging. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hard. My last line might tell them to fuck off, but yeah, I'll like, always be trying. Yeah, 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 my yeah, least yeah. favourite thing in the world is when comedians go, this isn't even a gig. It's a hostage situation. Yeah. Oh, really, is it? A hostage situation yeah. with sound and lights and a lineup yeah. and tickets and breaks in between. What yeah. the people, fuck I are you I wish armed police would burst in and start shooting people. It would really liven this up. Yeah. Yeah. Those fritzel girls were really whinging. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I could take being chained to a radiator. <laughs> I didn't know they had it made. Uh... Yeah, they were whinging because the bar was shut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, uh... they sat too close to the speakers. <laughs> Shut up. But yeah, Freddie uh, found out about this story and posted about it on Twitter. And it was just really, uh, it was really jarring for me to see like this quite relatively obscure musician be referenced by. This big have fat you, cunt. Have you ever been to Glastonbury? No, I haven't. I'd love to go. Would I've, you? Never been, I've never been to Glastonbury. I, I love music festivals, but I've never been to Glastonbury. I look at Glastonbury every year, and every year I go, that looks like fucking hell. Yeah, it you're a joyless like my cunt. nightmare. You're yeah. a joyless looks prick. Like yeah. my nightmare. Oh, yeah. How horrible. Like taking loads of drugs in a field whilst watching some of the best bands on earth. Yes, that's horrific. It's, it's busy. I can't do anything worse. It's, it's busy. so many people. It's yeah. busy. And then I need a wee. And then do you know where they make you go? To yes, wee? I go to festivals a lot. No. Where, where, yeah, where try being a man. Go? You can just piss against the fence. There's it's class. Sort of, there's a sort of like hate shack, and the door doesn't lock, and there's never loo paper, and you like it's like it's poor to lose, but but from the the depths of hell. And then if you stay in one of those fields where you sleep, there's like a it's called the drop. I yeah. went to one. I went to like the big chill when I was about sixteen. I was like, I'm never. This is so awful. Yeah, was this this is why I haven't been to Glastonbury <laughs> because I don't go. I, don't... I, I haven't got the VIP package there. Like normally, <laughs> I go as an act and you get the fucking yeah. Good I'd go if you get I a got a backstage yurt. toilet. Yeah, you know, those yurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe sponsored by Burberry. Like that yeah. would be. I know ideal. where uh, the festival I go to every summer. I know where there's one particular <laughs> toilet. Yeah. Even the backstage people don't know about oh, really, and it's pristine every time. I hate it. I also hate people largely. So like fields and Have you tried ecstasy? That'd really solve that no, problem. No, I've never done that. All oh, right, well that that's yeah, your yeah. issue. <laughs> right. You, are you going to Glastonbury sober, you fucking idiot? Would you would you ever want to go produce uh, uh Simon. Simon Lomas? No, I'm with Freddie on this one actually. Thank you. Everyone in here is it a just miserable look, anti-social. Yeah. It cult. looks it looks like the kind of thing that I would enjoy for roughly Four hours. Same. Uh, and looks, I get a nice burger with the onions on it. Yeah. And then I'd be... There'd done. have to be a yeah. thing where I could get, hypothetically, airlifted in and out. Right. So <laughs> that was... Like a rhino over the Serengeti. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking him home from the shelter. <laughs> Fucking Cherokee yeah. turns up. They're going like... to shoot you with a dart before they get you into yeah. it. Like, oh! Oh, <laughs> I would. That's what I'd like. I'd like Just to be eight trying... handlers pushing him into a crate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like. I'd like to be tranquilized. Wake up at the pyramid tent. A four hour pyramid of Elton John. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've, I've, I've Elton only, John. only Elton John. And yeah. then all of a sudden, when he says thank you and good night, I just hear. Psh, psh, <laughs> and I'm fall back asleep again. I love it. That sounds like my dream. Yeah. I just never watch those things and go. I'm so like I wish I was there. I'm like I'm so glad I'm here watching. Uh, I'm it. so the opposite. You know I mean? Like I, uh, I I fucking love festivals. I've got well excited festival season this year. I'm doing uh, doing a couple, and like I've got myself a sick new tent. I'm well excited. Big tent, fucking class. I've got a six man just for me. Let's go. So even that, right? So so I mean, I've done gigs uh, at festivals. I used to do them really regularly. Don't do them so much now because I don't like them. Right, mm -hmm. they are a place where people go for joy. Getting so is... getting onto a festival site oh God. is, is oh harder God. than flying to fucking Morocco. It is yeah, when you sink in the mud. <laughs> 
I can't really do many festivals because I'm so busy with my producing work. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're very lucky to have yeah. it. I'm so are, in demand. Yeah, yeah. No, no, thank you for being here, mate. We really appreciate <laughs> also, taking time like, out of your busy the, schedule. Your financial hit you'd take just from taking a week off. It's oh, not yeah. even worth it. We're talking like, you know, 10, 15 grand. Yeah. Oh, easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we've got him here. I know. <laughs> lucky. Thanks for being on Patreon, by the way. It helps pay for producer Simon Lomax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I, I just don't like, even getting on, is a nightmare. You go to a festival gig, mm. you never ever just drive up and they go, Oh, you're the one of the comedians. Yeah, straight through there. It's always like, right, you need to go to artist accreditation and then you need to get a pass. And then is that your car? Right. Okay. Have you printed out your car pass? Oh, well, if you've not printed out your car pass, then you can't put your car in the car park for artists. You've got to put your car park in the other car, which is all the way over there. And then you've got to walk through. And then every, just, all of this comes down to anger at walking. Every know, single yeah. person as well. <laughs> Every, well, you're right, actually. Yeah, but... One time I did download and they got me a little buggy and I was really happy. Uh, <laughs> I had the buggy at Kendall Calling once because I'd done too many drugs and I couldn't walk. <laughs> that to drive me to the tent, I was just sat on the, like, where I was going to think I'd do a gig. I was on the back of this truck getting driven through. Like, I had to is... do a teaspoon of cocaine to so get me through the show. Mine's not walking, mine's festival people. Like, there's always girls in plaits, like grown women in plaits. And I'm like, I... Oh, what I a plaits? I love, like, love a festival. Like slag. pigtails. Pigtails. Ah. Grown women in pigtails. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love it. Like, yourself. Women all like wander around in bikinis and yeah. pigtails, and it's fucking. Have you heard class. about the uh, the great time? Have you heard about the uh, pigtails uh, uh, bar staff phenomenon? No. So bar staff um, apparently. Do they reckon they get more tips? They get they oh, they it. all reckon believe they it. get more tips mm. when they wear pigtails. But they do the Kardashian mm -hmm. pigtails. They do French braid into pigtails. It's when there's a difference. There's French braid into pigtails, which Kardashian style, which is hot, and like you can get away with, and that's when the girls get more tips because they're kind of appealing to the like. Lolita thing and then there's the like National Trust lesbian pigtails do you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> is that what you say in the hairdressers <laughs> can I get National Trust lesbian pigtails please you know they tell you what you look like you've got a cracking go picnic with you <laughs> What's your name? Leslie. Is that, yeah. is that a backpack of sensible shoes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Birkenstocks. What a surprise. Can't do it. I hate them. Uh, well, yeah, no, I think you could be more wrong. Yeah. I love festivals the most. I think they're very, very... They're just like... It's not the most fun place on earth. I just don't get what's wrong with you, Miss I think it's it's full of people that want to... <laughs> you'll get me with this. Yeah. You're, 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 oh, Freddie, you're so yeah. social. It's full of people that want to make friends with you. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's exactly that. And they'll be like, we made such incredible new collections. <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> oh my God, the randomest thing happened. Oh. I was coming back from my tent and I was a bit oh. lost and I fell on another person's tent and we <gasps> became friends. You just feel like yeah, everyone's there for the same reason. Oh, that's hell. Yeah, if yeah. someone fell on my tent, I'd fucking smack him, mate. <laughs> 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 With like a rolled up comic. <laughs> 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 it's just, it's just, I, I hate the idea yeah. that it's like, I really actually just had like a spiritual away. There was a thing, there was somebody yeah. on Facebook who put this thing. You're just talking about drugs. No. There was somebody on Facebook who had this, who put this thing, right? Can't remember who it was, it, it, uh, but they put like, oh, I met the most interesting character the other night. Uh, they were talking about how they were uh, a bit of a dickhead uh, and they weren't a nice person, but they got to work at Glastonbury and the, the workers got them to put up the, uh, the fence around Glastonbury and putting that up and working with people and the festival taught him that there shouldn't be barriers and that everyone should love each other. I've it's actually like, seen oh. this post and he's added a lot of source to this. But, like, I've read the exact thing and Freddie, Freddie is really... Freddie is not one to add source to a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ironically, he's added a bit of garnish to this. You know, normally he'd be throwing that away. But you get what I mean, though. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like oh, fuck yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. Going to a nice place, having a good time and, like, you know, experiencing... No, who haven't had friends before joy. it's their first ever friend it's people who don't have like no. I can't imagine going to a field of people and wanting more friends that's on not, the way out yeah, yeah. yeah but that's no, not that's not, never been my experience where I've left with like more friends where it's like, like that it's like you know you'll just be like friendly to the people around you, you that's why I've moved to the north so though, like, I'm going to work on that last time, like last year at a festival I camped next to a guy who made ecstasy in his bathtub and he gave me loads and it was brilliant have you ever walked into any place festival or otherwise uh -huh. and gone I hope I meet new people. No, not really, no. Exactly. Like, I've got enough mates now. Freddie, That's... I'm doing that. I'm joining a go... hockey team. You're joining a hockey team? To new... I'm gonna... yeah. This is my year, my 35th year. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> make sure you get your pigtails out. 
<laughs> my 35th year I'm going to make friends yeah. I'm going to make you're friends you're going to be in a hockey yeah, scene yeah I'm going to be in a hockey maybe scene maybe she go to a festival yeah. do you know what <laughs> maybe they'll make me go to this a is, this is a BBC3 drama waiting to be written yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean? one of the most unapproachable women in life I want to just go make friends yeah see how yeah. it goes yeah okay I'm going to tell you distant okay, middle aged woman pod in the, in the, in the, halfway through the season yeah. ask me how it's going okay, <laughs> okay. Well, we'll come cheer you on I'll bring my plaid. we'll come bring some fans down to cheer for you <laughs> <laughs> we can bring some. Go you're just like, oh, you, 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 old Maribel. You look up from your hockey game to see thirty about, to forty smelly men in yeah, oversized black t-shirts. What about instead of hockey, which is typically a posh girl thing? Right? No, it isn't. I played lacrosse. That's a posh girl is thing. It? I'm taking myself right, down a class. Super posh. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, what what you want to do? I'm girl taking my. I'm, now being, you're up I'm north, being accessible. Now you're up north. What you want to do is roller derby. <laughs> What oh. is that? That's the ultimate what lesbian do you mean, sport. What's roller derby? Well, like, do you not know? It's just when you go round and round and roller skates. Yeah, but then there's another team trying to stop you, and they're like tackling you and stuff. It's lesbian. Uh, it's like it's like American football on rollerblades for lesbians. Well, what do you have? Like a ball? No, uh, you're just trying. No, you're, you're trying, trying to go around the British bulldog. Google. Yeah, uh, yeah, producer, yeah. British bulldog on, uh, on, roller on roller skates. Producer. Uh, uh, pr- producer. Can you remember Simon Simon's Lomas? name? You keep going. Ebbe, 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 ebbe. Yeah, because in my head, I'm just so used to saying producer Tom. Do you remember yeah. how long it took me to get over fucking producer Dave? And he was yeah, not getting Dave. Yeah. Uh, so, roller derby highlights. There you go. Okay. Make sure that the sound's muted, Simon, uh, so that we don't have to pay copyrights. Uh, if you just uh, click it, and then when it starts, you just click the volume. Oh, that go. shit. Yeah, there we go. go. Oh, man, that was so quick. He was so that good. That was so good, oh, Simon. And he's made it big screen. Oh, what my God. We didn't even have to ask him. He's skipping the ads without him telling us. Without us telling him. Oh, what the well, fuck? Skip derby forward in this. We don't need to see a fucking intro. Forward, do you want it? Uh, just there whatever they're doing stuff. That wasn't roller derby. Just that looks like keep roller. going. Roller therapy. Oh, you yeah. even can do it for five oh, seconds. Oh, there you go. go. There so you go. go so you have you, you get a point this for is every a lap you thing? do. No, 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 no. But it feels it's a lesbian more. Thing. It feels um, more like it's in the north than the south. There are a lot of teams around here. So, so like, you have all the teams going around. You have all. And the look, f- you see those green ones are blocking. They're trying to stop them getting. Oh, round. Yeah, when you got. Oh. You, you, so you have. So the rules of it are: you got one person who is scoring your points. Yeah. You've got, uh, and the, on their team, they've got a load of people yeah. who are protecting them, and the okay. other team are trying to stop them. Then so is of the American football ilk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the most important people are the hundred or so that are watching. Well, that our friends are. and family trying to be supportive. Oh, yeah. and unironically as well. Yeah. Imagine, like, imagine how many sports you had to be bad at to end up at roller derby. You know what I mean? Like, imagine, like, <laughs> like, just imagine the sheer uh, volume. Uh, it's, no, it's no one's first choice, like, is it? No one, no one hit six and was like, uh, "Mummy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there a roller derby club?" So, like, head? with roller derby as well, everyone gets a nickname. So everyone oh. gets like their own nickname. Yeah. You know, they all have like pun nicknames. Oh, it's a big thing of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ming and Maribel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, that green one can block what me. Bloody got, hell. Yeah. Jesus. Yes. I, like, I, these, this is an uncharacteristically attractive uh, team. No, it isn't. Because what they've done here is a couple of them have got their tartars out. Like, they yeah. got really low cut. And, you're and like, that's really worked on me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know, but they're not, they're not girls who usually have them looked at, I think. Well, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They are today. They are good Happy for them. to subject good them to a them. bit of the old misogyny. I'm just jealous. In, the, in you know, I actually that's the point. We did, we, you told you told on the pod the All story right, about. Pause there. Thanks, Simon. Speaking of tartars, you told the story already about when Freddie and our Freddie was last down in London, didn't didn't you? Uh, what was when, that he, one? when when we were going out to Ishan's after party and we went for we went oh, we both had shows that night and we went for a quick like bite to eat before the party mm-hmm. and I got there in my show clothes. Obviously, Freddie got there in his clothes, I guess. And uh, he has told me. Yes, I don't remember if it was on pod. But was it, he's yeah, and he goes me. so. Anyway, I was like, we finished the foods. I was like, I'm just going to change. Rob, let me tell you something about myself. I was really feeling myself that night. Like, I look great. I've been working out loads. I haven't been drinking. I was like, oof. And I had this top on for this after party that was like a really low cut top. Like, really, really low. But like, French lace low. Like, because I haven't, you know, it was was like all the way down here. It was very Olsen. Uh, And uh, came out the loo, had it on. It was like, God, she looks fantastic. Freddie, God bless him, goes... Have you changed your top? I was like, oh, Lancashire Poirot strikes again. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I have. And he goes, you look gorgeous. And I was like, oh, thank you, Freddie. That's so nice of you. Then he goes, imagine if you actually had tits. I was like, yep, there it is. Um, (laughs) To be fair, you did. Two seconds. To be fair, Hattie, you did look absolutely beautiful. You looked stunning. And if only you could borrow tits. Yeah, (laughs) for an eight-year-old girl, I looked incredible. (laughs) It's my body type. You look like the fittest girl on the ward. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So the cancer didn't spread. (laughs) On that train back from Poland, you looked gorgeous. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. fittest really woman was. I've ever liberated. Yeah, it was a very stern and heavy outfit, actually, that one. <laughs> very low-cut pyjamas. <laughs> um, 
it's good Simon, to be humbled. Yeah. Uh, can I? Uh, <laughs> it's good to be humbled. <laughs> can I ask you to uh, head over to the emails, please? Uh -huh. um, yep. Perfect. Oh, and click on that it. link. Oh, this that's is so good. Something that I found today. Uh huh. Do you want to read it out, Simon? Please staggered after person calls nine 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 to say they are being followed by a cat. Right, are we sure this isn't a school child <laughs> identifying as a cat? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. It's have been you, so mental, all that Have shit. you seen that? It's just absolute bollocks, isn't it? It's like there's no, there's like no actual basis to any of it. Like, there's no real child. It's just a bunch of like... There's a recording. Have you not heard the recording? Right, there's kids playing stuff. It's like kids say stuff all the time. It's not, they're not... They're not trying to transition into a cat. They're like, I'm a cat. It's like, yeah, you're five. That's what they do. Yeah, uh, no, no, it's a secondary school. Uh-huh. So, so I find this recording then. I've li I literally listened to it on TikTok. I was going to... Yeah. Uh, right, okay. If you Google... Because like, it's been absolute horse shit. What, if you Google... The fact kids are transitioning into a cat. Uh, yeah. Secondary school... That's been the thing. And it's been a big political debate. Where we're going like... Yeah, so, the Telegraph so, reported it based on nothing. I've literally listened to the recording. Right, yeah, yeah. Like, find us this recording. Um, because, like, because you heard something on TikTok okay. isn't the best source, is it? Okay. So, so this is all just people, like, arguing about the, the made-up oh, one. Uh, if, if you go this up, just, if you go up, yeah. if you go up, if you, if, if you go back up to the search, Simon, mm -hmm. and type in TikTok video as well on top of that. <laughs> Let's is, go right to the best but source. But the thing is, girls have been doing this for ages. Remember yeah. horsey girls at school? Yeah, yeah. They used to go around and go, yeah. like... Comedian Tom Little posted about how he literally did this. He claimed he was a cat for a year. Yeah. I just think this isn't you. This I think everyone's just stressing. I used to uh, go to school with a girl. Same, it, you remember Kafati? Yeah, yeah. Same one. Yeah. Uh, so it was a fat girl who did karate, so we called her Kafati. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Kids are incredible. She also, she also claimed that she was reincarnated and she was a Tudor girl. There we go. Yeah. This is what I mean. Great. Kids do this shit. Yeah, let her. So it's not like, if, if one of them goes, oh, I'm a cat, it's not a, it shouldn't be a national news story. It should be shut the fuck but up. But I'll tell you this as well, though, homework. is that, look, if you have a different gender and you want me to recognize recognize that yeah. fine providing you make a bit of effort yourself uh -huh. um like but like I'll, I'll try and remember your pronouns but you have to remember that mm. i don't care about you so if i forget them it's not because i'm bigoted it's because i don't care about your life however i will try to make those concessions if it makes you happy yeah. but i will not ever ever recognize somebody who says i'm a cat yeah but I you don't have to because no it. one's claiming this is the thing it's a made-up story this is what's so annoying about it. it's like yeah you're totally right not to no one's asking you to Do you not remember that Ollie London exist. guy who was like i'm korean yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and he's not. now an anti-trans activist is he yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> genuinely oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. turn up for the book like odd, i just don't think odd and even if like there is like one that exists i yeah. don't think one lunatic is enough for a fucking political discussion i just think it's they use this a way to like just they always end up just bashing trans people at the end of it it's always where it ends up you know it's, it's always just, just a way just of going really look how ridiculous this people. is like all yeah. this is doing is stressing out the old people and all this should Get be doing is being made comfortable and let them make a cup of tea and Give just swan into death and they're just yeah. stressing them out it's like it's like halal killing is what we're doing we're yeah. just stressing out the old people so they're just it was like stressed out halal for the rest killing. Of, it is it's, it's yeah. like they're just stressed out for the final yeah. moments of their life yeah. like do you stun gun them yeah and then wake them up at last and break you see like with the cat thing this has been going around for a while like joe rogan talked about one of his episodes he was like nah it's real there's a school where like you know they've got a uh, litter tray for the cats right that's the steiner school that's all the well, mentals no, but they googled it. it like what it was was actually uh like there's some uh classrooms in america that have litter trays in them so if kids piss themselves during an active shooting so it was actually just even more american than he even, could have thought even worse yeah just they just the have them they worse, have them yeah. there in for an emergency situation yeah. if they get trapped in wait the school we actually had shooting. a video of somebody on here who Isn't was like it? my pronouns yeah, are yeah, yeah. Meow, meow, meow. yeah yeah that was a mentally ill woman yeah yeah, yeah. and no one should be minute, taking like, it seriously god bless america that they are they're preparing for people pissing themselves during a shooting yeah, rather yeah. than like yeah. maybe taking the gun. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. It's an amazing way of looking at the problem, isn't it? So good. Solved it, don't worry. Tell These kids what, who are getting shot at won't piss themselves. These shootings are really stressing the kids out. So what we should do is give them a litter tray. <laughs> yeah. That'll make you... It's, so it's amazing. What a country. God yeah. bless amazing. them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just I don't know. I was I just think that like the, the this stuff that's been like this week with everyone arguing about it, it's like it's just 
it's just ridiculous. That's it's just like, it's just a that. total distraction. It's a total like, yeah. look over here. Like, I just, it's yeah. bollocks. It's a sidetrack debate. The yeah. fact that like the like leaders of our government are genuinely discussing it is embarrassing and all of them should fucking kill themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. worth discussing. It's just worth- This is it. It's, it's worth, worth us discussing on a stupid fucking podcast. Yeah. Yeah. If someone said to me, if someone says to me, uh, Freddie, uh, I am a grown person, uh, but I want you to treat me and call me a cat. Yeah. I go no, and then that's, just go, that's it. When that I just happens, go, let's not hang out. Like I just want to hang out with that person. That'd be my solution. I'd be like, you in love, enjoy being a cat. Yeah. I'm Spray go, with water. Yeah, back away, <laughs> away. Um, yeah. Psst, psst, psst. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so used to being in rooms with comedians calling themselves comedians that I've sort of just got, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, uh, that's like, far more offensive like, to me. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I oh, fucking, do you know what? Yeah, cat is the least of my problems, yeah, actually. My like, pronouns are ha yeah, him. If I've no, got no, another, no. If I've got another open white guy who's just hit 100,000 on TikTok, I'm going to shoot myself in the fucking gullet. <laughs> like, uh, like, How did we even get onto this? I just no, they're followed by a cat. Oh, followed by yeah, a cat. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, get back it, to that it, story. It, it, I just made a lot of Just that story, it was a woman who was followed by a cat scroll the way down out. a little bit to be fair Thank that cat does look like beautiful a beautiful scrolling do you want to listen oh. to it no yeah. no it's listening to the article that mate <laughs> yeah yeah mm. but well done and that's a mistake anyone could have made it's not a mistake he was just giving us an option oh, no you're right yeah yeah he's... you're such a creative simon mm. that's what we already read but we about. want to hear your voice simon yeah yeah it's about reading it out yeah, you can read it out you can read a bit out police have been left staggered that's the same bit that's, same bit. that's yeah. fine it's just a little repetition yeah. oh here we go just read this tweet from uh superintendent dan ivy <laughs> Why is that funny? Uh, God, why is that? I'm sorry, Dan Ivy. Chief Superintendent responding. To... Yeah. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Can't quite believe I'm typing this, but I've just been told one of our most recent calls on 999 was some re someone reporting to be followed down the road by a cat. Yes, a cat. <laughs> <laughs> With the emoji. I had to listen to the call myself to believe it. I wish we could listen oh. to the fucking call. But like, uh, you know it's an old person. Can I yeah. say? Unfortunately, a, uh, ACAB still applies to you, I, I I didn't think that that was somebody. Oh, that is it. That I, I think that might be it. If you press it. No, they can, they're, they're they not allowed they. to play a call. No, I think they are. Right, that's just... I, don't I think, think they might be, you know, because they've started releasing calls. Yeah, but isn't that if there's a court case on? Yeah, this is just a little... No, this is just a little police advert. Oh, right, okay, okay. okay. Like, I, I'm pretty sure legally they can't do that with a 999 um, call. But, yeah, I reckon, like, you yeah. think it was an old person. I think it was a woman, uh, sorry, a guy off his tits. Possibly. Oh, Paranoid yeah. schizophrenic is up there. Uh, just um, a retard. There's always that. Sorry, a spoffeth. <laughs> There's always that option, isn't there? I've but, just been in Belfast for four days. That that word, every single one of them. Like, it's yeah. unbelievable. We, like, it, yeah. What? Retard. Every single one of them. Just the whole time. They just say it the whole time. All the time. Wow. Did they say it's it, funny. not R it? Just no, they're not that R clear. it. Like, yeah, just make that clear. <laughs> every, that, I'll be honest, it's not a city you want to piss off. <laughs> I've just know? been in Belfast and every single one. They all say, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Dying. yeah. Well, like, you know what? If you've spent your whole uh, childhood dodging bombs, I don't think yeah, you're we'll so worried about airs yeah, and yeah, graces. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell you, you should... what, though, I, I turned up, pulled up on the road at Airbnb, Union Jack and English flags everywhere. I was like, I knew it. Yeah, you I were on the right it. side of town. <laughs> yeah, if you if you cross the wall, you might. It, it feels a different vibe. Yeah, they told me that. Just yeah. didn't cross it. Maybe it was a mouse who made the car. I've been waiting quite a while. So funny. You're right. No, fair enough. Close the case. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of that. No one's beating yeah. that, are they? Yeah. No one's uh, being funny uh, on that. Right. <laughs> Detective Lomas strikes again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you're a fan of Dead Men Talking, then why not sign up to our Patreon? From just £3 a month, you get access to shitloads of extra content and loads of specials. And for now, we are doing a... I was going to say for a limited time only. It's not. It's from now until forever. We're doing a free seven-day trial so you can sign up, check it out, see if it's for you. No risk, but we're so confident you'll love it and we're so confident we'll stay that you'll become a Patreon for life. <laughs> 
We hope you're enjoying this week's episode of Dead Men Talking. And I don't care if you are. Here is a little sneak peek of some content from a previous Patreon-only episode. If you enjoy it, sign up at patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. you going to be shot by this, but I can't stand walks. What? I don't know. You not finding joy in something that involves exercise? Well, even the zoo yesterday I was moaning that the animals had too much space. <laughs> Why would that annoy you? Because <laughs> it's too much for walking between animals. So you'd rather they were treated much oh, worse? Oh, God, yes. So you could oh, just... God, yes. If they said to me, Freddie, on your say-so, we'll halve the size of the enclosures, <laughs> I'd be like, fuck it. I think what you'd enjoy is a caged hen battery farm. Yeah. <laughs> You just need to bite the bullet and buy a mobility scooter at this point. With 20 quid to rent. <laughs> I'm amazed you didn't drop that that's, 20 bills. That is your like that is a really funny intersection for Freddie where his his greed and lust for money <laughs> overlaps with his laziness and they compete and it turns out 20 quid is enough to make you walk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually more venal than you are lazy it turns out. <laughs> Uh, what age do you reckon you'll get a mobility scooter? 40, if you could get one free 45. for the government now, would you get one? No, 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 no. 45, 50. You're not pushing it. It depends. That long. It depends. Five like... years after you die. <laughs> yeah, that's Trundling called a, your coffin. It's called a hearse, mate. Yeah. <laughs> a mobility hearse. Little... <laughs> so fat. You had to have a mobility hearse. <laughs> Right, know. here at Shop Mobility, we have a range of solutions for whatever you need. We've got the wheelchairs there, we've got the mobility scooters there, and if you are really struggling, <laughs> we've got a hearse. I don't know, because I've always thought, right, I've always thought that um, uh, mobility scooters were for people who wanted to get places but couldn't. And I'm, yep, yeah, and I'm, that is very much the brief. And I'm not that asked about getting places. <laughs> yeah, And you could if you tried. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. So I'm like, it's not, it's it's the the flesh is is fine. It's just the spirit isn't asked. <laughs> the spirit isn't asked. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just choking at the moment. But fucking the flesh is fine, but the spirit isn't asked. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck's sake. I've, I've also... Oh, actually, tell you what, we haven't talked about this yeah. happened this week because it's been a few days uh, since uh, this has happened since we've recorded. Yeah. We haven't talked about the fucking Titanic. So yeah, we've I know not. this is going to be like... By the time this is out, it's going to be like two-week-old yeah. news, but I'm so excited about it. and like, I've read everything about it. Okay. Like, I... Can what I a ask story. one thing? Yeah. I don't want to see it. I'm not asking, but what... I can't in my head envisage an implosion. I well, I've got some stuff for you. That's exactly what so, I'm So, Simon, do. if you go to the uh, emails, uh, if we go back over I there... Just wanna see, yeah. I just want to see... We just click on Inbox it's, or it's, the back. It goes like, in. And you go, yeah, it's uh, like so, an instant hello, crumpling. Uh, is this the tanker? Yeah, so this is a train tank imploding oh. at one atmospheric pressure. Oh! To... Yeah. So that is an implosion. That is what wow. happens. That's at one pressure. This was at over 500 pressures they were at. So, so if we they go would have, back... They would have, it would have kind of almost disintegrated. Yeah. So it would have just... Yeah, it's like an, it's still, it's like an explosion, but backwards. So it's still a massive but transfer it, be, That's what they're saying yeah, about debris. Happening. It'll be like bits. So oh, not, even that, not even so, that. Not even that. They'll so, be fuck all so, that. So look, this is a... Uh, on Mythbusters, they took a diving suit to 300 metres rather than the thousands they were at and like watch what happens to the diver inside oh, it. Okay. Right, so this is a diving suit. This, this is a, only at 300 feet. Yes, yeah, a dummy. But look what happens to the diver inside it. And here we go. They change the pressure. And... Oh, oh. What's going on there? Oh. And... Bleh. Oh, wow. Is that just... It just liquefies them. It just turns them to liquid. Oh, and wow. And that's at 300 feet. These were at thousands of feet. Well, I, I, I read a thing. I say read. Uh, Thanks, lis Simon. Listen pause it there. on TikTok. Cheers, mate. Or just pause um, it. Yeah, cheers. Uh, I listened to a thing on TikTok where they yeah. talked about how quick the implosion would have been. Yeah. It's so fast that not only would you not be able to register it as pain, but you also wouldn't be able to register it as seeing it with your own eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's faster so, than light. So it's, faster than light. It's honestly, it's like uh, End of the Sopranos. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just off. Like, and it's like, done. it's it's honestly, what I think is like the best result they could have had because like you've yeah, got to totally choose between oh, the best death ever totally and that. the worst death so ever. So yeah. we, that night, so on Thursday night, we were out with us saying, like, mm. I was in Belfast and Adam, Adam Ray was there as well. And we were all talking about it. Everyone was like, obsessed. Colin's yeah. wife was obsessed. It was, we were I've been so, so obsessed, obsessed with it. With it. And he 
was like, but uh, and his the whole thing. He was like, but actually imagine like what they're sitting in, like the piss and the shit mm. and the vomit and the crying. And actually, yeah. So when this came out, you're like, so oh, do you know better. what? So much better. Yeah, yeah. This was always the most likely explanation. But like, you know, last week Can we I... were talking about bad dads. Like we've got oh. a new nomination for the worst dad. Oh, the guy who he didn't even want to go down, did he? Yeah, his son didn't I, want to go down. The dad was say obsessed. One thing? Do you know there weren't even windows on this thing? There is one window. Like that's been misreported. And it's over the times. shitter as well. Get yeah, fucked. but like when like, you say shitter, there was a there was a little area where they had a plastic bottle. You're that's going the down. Yeah. You're going down to watch hold. it through a video. No, you're watching it through a porthole still. Like, but then you've got to take turns to look at the porthole. The porthole was only uh, uh, rated to go down one thousand feet. There we go, like five thousand. Why did they? Because they was like, ah, they're only rules. Fuck it. They also bought they the carbon fibre for it when it was out of date. They've been down a few times, so, but and like, it just hadn't gone wrong. Hadn't gone wrong yet. It was just one of those. It was a ticking time bomb. Yeah, yeah. But why Mr. Did Beast it go was meant to be on it. Why did it go wrong? Was he? Yeah. Well, it went wrong because I uh, the, what right? The, so the, the very the, technical explanation the is actual... there was two materials at the same time. They used carbon fiber and titanium rather okay. than just making out of titanium, and they react differently to different pressures down but there. But also the shape of it them. wasn't right. Yeah, as well. there was loads of so things wrong with it. Usually, the Fucked. reason that submarines are perfectly circular like that is so that the pressure spreads evenly across the whole All thing. Right. Uh, They're but... not perfectly circular, are they? They're not going down in a fucking Death Star. Like you know, football, yeah, it's not like a globe. No, all right, it's fucking cylindrical. <laughs> uh, it's so that the pressure spreads equally, sure. but with that, the pressure wouldn't. So it would basically have, have kind of concentrated on the wrong sort of material that yeah. you'd want it to concentrate on. Like the guy was just a fucking like mad guy. I like, I kind of liked the guy's attitude in general to being like, ah, you know, fuck the regulations and all this. But I mean, like in life, not when you're going down 5,000 feet below the water. That's when you need do you know, regulations. And do you know what pissed me off about the whole thing, yeah. genuinely, on. was people who were going, guys, at the end of the day, Oh, these are just human beings. Yeah. Mm. They're human beings and uh, we should be really nice to human beings. These people have got families. Guys, come yeah. fuck well, up. Well, one of them doesn't have a son anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I felt... We, I, I Liquefy billionaires. I felt like a leper. At this, I felt like a leper at the dinner table on Thursday because I was like, I'm really struggling to care. I mean, I'm intrigued, but yeah. I'm really struggling to care about this one. Fuck them all. Oh, like, I'm just, I, I was, was like, like morbidly there's such a thing fascinated. as too rich. Like, yeah, yeah. the fuck? We've all seen the movie. What more do you need? Mm. It's oh, I do think there. it looks shit. Like, it looks like a shit thing to do. Well, definitely. me and Katie had gone to the Titanic experience in Belfast that day. Yeah. We'd done it. You can see it. Yeah. They yeah. do just, you get the thing and, and you walk in it. They've mosaic all the pictures they've ever taken of it to make it look like, I was like, we did it. And it was 29.50, extra four pounds for an audio guide. Yeah. What kind of idiots don't know about the Titanic experience in Belfast? It does feel a little bit like yeah. if at Auschwitz they went, okay, you get to climb in the ovens and we turn them on. Yeah. The 9 11 experience. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Make sure you've what? done your seatbelt up. It's, it's just... a bit like you, you, you yeah. don't need to experience it that it's, much. It's billionaires being void of feeling, being of anything being like yeah. impressive to them anymore yeah. or like viscerally impactful to them totally. anymore. So they're and like, I'm going to fuck. Thousand fuck off. One of them sold bits of the Titanic as well. That was his like business was selling bits. But you're essentially a grave robber at that point, yeah. isn't it? So you know, get liquefied. Cunt. Do you know what's <laughs> mad as well is they spent they spent two hundred and fifty grand. They spent more yeah. than my house yeah. going down there, right? Now take price out of the equation. If someone said to you, Rob, yeah. uh, you have to go down to the Titanic, look around for half an hour, yeah. and then go back up. Does that sound like a fun day to you? No, it doesn't. It and sounds if I like do a it, right pain in I the ass. I'm not doing it in the maverick break the rules submarine. I want the sturdy follows every fucking rule submarine. You yeah, know, yeah, I want yeah. the legit. I want the one that James Cameron went down in. I don't want the fucking dodgy one that we do for tourism. Like it's definitely going to happen in space suit as well. We'll have like space tourists oh, dying. God. Do you know? But, like, it, I did enjoy it as well. There was like uh, there was someone who was like there was an interviewer interviewing this scientist going like and um, how long do you think it'll take to record? Of the bodies, and he's just like he's trying to really gently explain, like there isn't a body; it's mush. They yeah. are mush. They are now. <laughs> yeah, there's more of Leonardo DiCaprio down there than there is of them. <laughs> it's, it's, there's nothing. You might be able to sieve a DNA strand out, but you know, sieve a DNA. What, like when they used to pan for gold? <laughs> I'm panning for your yeah. dad. <laughs> Jesus, I do. I feel like it is so awful, but we have all been so fascinated mm. by it. It's but and I, it's because of that. It's the visceral horror as well. But it's it, kind but of Shakespearean, like, which is like yeah. the fall of the fucking billionaires. Like it's yeah. a billionaires' playground, that, and we're like, 
It's because they did it to themselves. It's like, exactly you know, that. one of the really annoying yeah. things as well has been people on uh, Twitter going, why isn't the same amount of attention play paid to a migrant boat? Well, <laughs> not to be too harsh about it, but they sink every day, right? <laughs> that was, do you know what? Like, they're like a shitty little boat that someone's like nicked or like something. Like, I'm expecting that to sink. Do you know, you know when was... billionaires do it to themselves, it's funny. But do you know what I will say? What was vaguely galling, and this is coming from someone who has no principles really whatsoever, was in the same stream of BBC News, you've got them being like, and the Americans are shipping in this from Newfoundland and the English have got the newest technology to get down there. Da, 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 da. In the same thing, they're like, oh, we think they were about maybe 750 in the hold, but we don't really know. And you're like, we see what they do have available we see yeah. what we have available to find things under the water yeah but not actually get it back like those like those rescue efforts were so funny they basically sent down a submarine that even if it found it couldn't bring it back up sure they just all went for a so look just goggles. Yeah, and yeah. a lot of it was like companies sending their shit open it to get on the news and stuff just yeah. a big story you know so it's like just people following movie, their yeah. attention in it you yeah. know yeah. Um, what, what else have you sent us today? Oh, uh, so so I just sent loads of uh, like that stuff. Oh, let's go to the top to the gulag. Let's click this one. Oh God, this yeah. is uh, a little innovative, uh, right? It, oh. it, it, this is an innovative event from American prisons where uh, prisoners can win prizes by participating in a rodeo. <gasps> and when I say a rodeo, they sit them at a picnic table and let bulls charge them amongst various other events. And like... Uh, if you, uh, I would love to watch that. I mean, what an afternoon watching it! Yeah, like this is this is like, like um, let's up the poverty pen. This is like Running Man, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you click, uh, if, if Simon, you see uh, in that comment on the right hand side where it says this is real, by the way, and yes, they get very hurt. If you click that. We'll be able to see. Uh, so these are the different events through the day. Or is it like if they, they didn't want to do the laundry? It. No, no, they sign up for it, but they get paid like a couple of dollars if they win. It's like the prizes are like insanely low, but like. Yeah, they uh, they basically so like they do stuff where they like put them in a barrel, like just like bull charge it and shit. And, like this, this you know, is... this is PR. This is because America are getting in trouble for being like, there's too many black men in prisons. They're like, no, see, there's stupid fat southern men too. Like this is this is what they're doing. I think like, some of these stupid fat southern this... men are black as well. <laughs> No, I don't think they are from let's the have pictures. A back, I think it's all let's like, look at the pictures. Let's... I think it's like Tucker from Houston. Yeah. Like, you I click think that X all... in the top left. There, Number so. three sounds up my street. Yeah, what's that? Bareback riding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see why they're into it now. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is no black guys here. What are you on about? No, there they <laughs> are. In fact, there it's they only are. black guys. It's only black Jesus, guys. Awful. All black. Oh yeah. Look, that guy is getting fucked up. That's such a good picture. The timing on that is just this. That guy is getting it's nailed. Do you know what? As well, if you zoom in hard getting enough, squashed against the table. If you zoom in hard enough, I bet that bull's smiling because he's well pleased today. <laughs> oh, that bull is doing his thing. Yeah, well, he's having that? a great time. What's the where are you at in your head where you're like a big time where's the sign up sheet yeah where, I mean well, in jail like, in America, win like $100 guess, but... or something like that and in jail that'll go a long way you know it's like I just think it's like I love how they've given them like yeah the masks. prisoners get to like watch do you reckon they're the other competitors like waiting for their turn yeah just having a go oh, getting, God, getting, getting, getting their head around the rules brutal. I think I've got those chairs in my garden <laughs> They are a really standard patio chair. It's like they're outside in a Spanish yeah, piazza. Yeah, that is, that is a B&Q it, sale yeah. chair. I give it six months before this is an open mic sign up in London. Oh, oh mate. Like, beat easy, the bull. Easy. Yeah, trying to do comedy but just getting <laughs> flattened. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you've got to do five minutes of stand-up yeah. and there's a live bull there's chasing live around. Bull. Yeah. Here, here's a pitch, right? We pop little bull horns on your head. <laughs> we'll just get you to charge the stage. Oh, I'd fucking love that. No. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go, like, uh, you know, just thought wow. I'd introduce this for you to see what you felt about it. Where is it? Is it, is it is a lot of them were just down south? It's uh, down I think south. This is a southern it's thing. Be. Jesus Christ, they got Andy Dufresne doing it as well, haven't they? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. He looks like he works in the fucking library at the prison. He's well, Andy Dufresne did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you like, scroll down a bit on the right hand side there, Lois. So if you just scroll down, I what if they were like rodeo riders it. who went to jail uh, and they still want to like keep their, keep their keep their eye in? Uh, yes, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe that's who they are. They're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, begging with the warden like, to be oh, able please, to do it. I just want to smell it again. Yeah. I just want to smell the fucking arena again. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think that... We've got an option. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just want to stay in practice. Is all. <laughs> I like, think oh, like, dang, I just missed those balls. <laughs> they should really up the stakes, gonna... though. Like, do it for their freedom. Yeah. Make it so it's a yeah. tournament through the day of more, you know, squid game it. Make it more and yeah. more escalate through the day. And then at the end, when there's one standing, well, or <gasps> do you still know what they alive. should do? So, so yeah, all of them in the same thing. You just do it with non violent right? criminals. All you know, of just them. Just drug criminals. All and that. of them in one pet. Right, here you do. 
All of them in <laughs> one pen. He's got. This is this is where I come alive, yeah. right? All of them in one pen, yeah. right? All the people who want their, their freedom in one pen, one bull, right? Let's say there's there's 500 prisoners, right? Once the first 50 get good or whatever, you How'd add, you get knocked out when your guts are out? You are sorry. No, you leave. Right, okay. Right. Once the first 50 are gone, you had a second bull. <laughs> Uh-huh. And then once the next fifty are gone, you add another. Bull. I think they've got to be progressively bigger each bull. Yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. more psychotic. Yeah, and no, like by well, the time the end of the last one, they've just been like flicking it, and just yeah. like spitting it in his face, slapping it, yeah. showing it pictures of all the He's people. He's been in tied there. up outside a Texas barbecue for the last five years of his life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But he's sniffing your underwear, going like, "I'll oh, yeah. get that one." Yeah, no one's screaming. coming out of that, Freddie. Not one person's coming out of it. Yeah. Nah, because one person will be. One person's your winner, but they're going to be fundamentally different. Changed, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what that's the point of the prison system. Yeah, yeah so we're going to reform them with massive brain damage. Exactly. Yeah. Right, what else you got? Hull uh, Tiger. This oh. is, right, uh, what this is, is one of the weirdest sex crimes I've ever uh, seen in my life. Oh, uh, no, I'm in a zoo. So if we scroll down, <laughs> scroll down uh, to the story. So uh, here we go. Just accept it, it's fine. It's a work computer. Hull City, uh, Hull City mascot, Amber, gives stand wide berth after being grabbed inappropriately by supporters. If we go back to Twitter, Simon, we can see this photo that someone's taken. Wait, so that's a guy <laughs> who's grabbed a mascot's head and shoved it on his dick. <laughs> and look how happy Even, about it is. No, sorry, the tweet. Even Amber sucks me off at... Oh, so that'll be it? up the town. It'll up no, the Tigers. Up the Tigers, there we go. Sucks me off up the Tigers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was up the Tigers. Hey! <laughs> So I think this guy is getting banned from the stadium. And also, the mascot has said he's not going over to that stand anymore. I'm not going over to that stand of 6,000. Yeah, yeah. It's not like the whole stand's got blamed for this. I, look, I mean, obviously, like, you know, people shouldn't get sexually assaulted. But, but I'll be blow honest. Jobs, blow jobs are so generous. If Lucas the cop cat got fingered in front of me at Ellen Road, <laughs> I'd have a giggle. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It's very funny. Oh, no, I don't go over to the main or Figueroa stand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone even, grabbed me. even Amber sucks me off. Is it yeah. even like everyone? Everyone does. <laughs> everyone does. Yeah. Even Amber the mascot. This guy. Which would be the funniest mascot to uh, sexually assault? Maybe that West Ham Hammer would be good. <laughs> Gunnosaurus. I'd love to nonce up Gunnosaurus. <laughs> Fun fact: uh, yeah. a comedian did that to me at a gig once. What, what grabbed your head and popped it on your knob? Yeah, grab, gra- grabbed my head, shoved it on his dick. Yeah. Was it Dave Longley? Uh, no. All right. No. Okay, just... <laughs> it was Jonathan Mayer. Oh. Yeah, there you go. I still remember you, prick. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm but... keeping it. I'm not arse. Okay. Fuck him. Were you, yeah. were you, were you, were you doing the open spot? Yeah, yeah. yeah I was over my crew the headliner. Massive abuse of power. Yeah. Uh... That's what we all have to do, Freddie. Those are the rules. <laughs> this is taking a turn. I'm not arsed. <laughs> okay. Get ready for another lawsuit, guys. Yeah. You what? <laughs> I've got the for... fucking picture. He can sue all he wants. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, speaking of lawsuits, this might actually bring me to a thing that I want to talk to you about, and, uh-huh. and you're gonna and and I want to do it on air so that you, oh, there were witnesses. Okay, you're gonna be cross, but you can't be cross. Uh, you specifically, yeah, you're gonna be cross. What what have you done? Did you grass us up to Avalon? Sort of, sort of worse actually. Wait, 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 wait. What the what? F- what the fuck? What what has, what has happened? So, you know, we've talked for a long time about, like, we don't want to sign and, you know, the whole agent thing isn't, well, I am a... You signed to Avalon. Oh. Oh. But can I tell you? Uh Uh-huh. I don't know if this episode's ever going out. It's like, Uh I think you wasted your breath, to be honest. Can I tell you? Fuck your agent. Fuck your scum cunt of an agent. Can I tell you her? Fuck everyone who works for them. Fuck you. She's so smart and she's so beautiful and she's ginger. What did... That's what got you. Yeah. That's what got you. She's so smart and she's ginger. I hope, she gets, I hope she gets endometriitis. I hope she gets a sticky fanny. She will once I'm done with her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> best producer in the game. Best producer in the game. <laughs> hey, you're a fucking traitor. I know, I'm hey. like, Yeah, hey. I am. I am. I've zero with morals. The devil. Zero morals. They're all so shit. Well, like, we don't, we don't, we're going to find out. Oh, so oh look no, forward I can, to seeing Hattie I on can, some terrible Hattie, panel shows. I can shows. tell you now that you've made a mistake. Yeah. I can tell okay, you right now. Well, they are a cancer on the industry. Well, can you not tell me right now? Okay, I'll not tell you right now. No, I'm going to carry on telling you right now. You're a fucking idiot. What do you want them to do for you? 
just look, you know, I will listen. Just it, sue random podcasts. Just sue, sue my mates. Yeah. 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 That's unbelievable. I like the just sue us. Do you know what? Do you know, are, they, a, hey, are they actually? They have. To, yeah, they've, they, we've had so, like months well, of a legal in, battle I had one of my them. meetings and I was like, uh, I'd have had a few. And I was like, listen, I have to raise a thing. I was like, which is um, I'm friends with the Dead Man Talking Boys. And and I was like, and I, I know you're, they're not your best friends right now. And I was like, but I'm not going to not be friends with the Dead Man Talking Boys and, and do the pod and, and do Freddie shows and that. And they were like, no, that's that's fine. They're like, you probably can't do the show that they and I was like, oh, oh so they are. Did they all genuinely aware of this? say this? No. Ah, yes. <laughs> Living we've, in their fucking heads. I know. We've often wondered how much of the company is aware of us, and I'm very glad it's no, most. No, no. He had. He said he had to go talk to legal and, and check it out for himself. But I was like, <laughs> but, I, but, I, but, I, but listen, I'm a turncoat. But I, I'm still. I was. I'm a turncoat with you know a strand of morals. So that's, that's so great. So isn't it? I mean, it sounds like you were going like you're just still trying to negotiate your way into the deal rather than sure, trying sure, to protect sure. us. No, I was. Um, yeah. But listen, that's what I've, so that's what I've done. Wow! And she brings this up an hour uh -huh. in. Oh, yeah. have you been sending some tweets to Fessol? Have you? Have you <laughs> got a lad babies podcast next week? Are you? <laughs> Fucking disgusting! I am honestly disgusted with no. you. No. Oh, wait, listen. Yeah, that's what I've done. <laughs> I'm really excited. She's ginger. I think you're going to love her. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that's, that's all she needed, wasn't it? Right. Could, ginger uh, everyone, beautiful. Everyone, everyone watching this, please go and unfollow Hattie <laughs> on every social media platform. Don't yeah. buy tickets to her shows because money goes to Avalon. It was so... Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. I have so... No, I and just... And to think yeah. we were going to do that GoFundMe for a boob job. We were... <laughs> We we're going to do like a sort of Red Nose Day thing with big red tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we're going to send the Titan down to look for him. <laughs> Guys, I really think this is an exciting new chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shame. Oh, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, but I'm, you know, listen. So what, do, so what do you want them to do for you? No, you see, here's the thing, Freddie. I don't, I've, as you well know, I have been very anti that for a very, very long time. And and the sort of where I've got to is it would, it's, it would love be lovely to have a little bit of help with all of this. Uh-huh. Because what I don't have. Hiya, Simon. Best yeah, in the game. Why well, does like, he help? He's, he's too expensive for me. Yeah, yeah, there is that. Do you know yeah. what? I'm going to ring that guy back. I'll do that fucking gig in a barn. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Who's right. on an anti-vaxxer? Yeah, fuck it, fine. I would have far more respect for you if you'd signed for like Naked Martin's agency and we're now drinking shit on the they internet. They didn't ask. They wouldn't get back to me. Yeah. <laughs> I know you've lost respect for me, but listen. Oh, I didn't just... have any respect no. for you. <laughs> what's what, what's going to be what's going to be so funny is if they do a great job with her, yeah. and I then know. it's like 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 within we're watching this back in a year's time, and Hattie's like selling out an arena. I know. And and they're they're like, like, what are you mean, a fucking do for you? When was the, when was the last time Avalon did that? To be fair, like you know, well, you might enjoy going on those Dave panel shows. No, I've been so difficult. They've been amazing with me. I've been at every meeting. I'm like, I'm not doing this, and I'm not doing this. I don't know what's in it for them. Like, I truly, truly don't know what's in it for them. No, what I've they said. do is they uh, they sign comedians like raffle tickets, and basically they hope that you blow up. They sign like a hundred acts, like, like and then they hope one of them blows up. And yeah. like, uh, yeah, you'll find within six months they're not really talking to you anymore. Right. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. there's just one. Unless more you've just blown in the up, industry. which you would have done anyway <laughs> without them. Well, then I'll come back on this and I'll beg. Oh, you're not welcome back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have really salted the earth round here. Do you know what I think we should do? I think we should yeah. go the other way. Right. So what we should do is rather than just... Maybe uh, a guest host. You know, I, well, <laughs> I think what we should do is we should keep bringing Avalon acts on, mm -hmm. but then trying to get them to say things that will get them cancelled. Mm -hmm. That's nice, yeah. Which I don't need much help with do that. Do you want to be on a special, Hattie? <laughs> do you want to be on one of our specials? <laughs> yeah. Which race do you hate the most? Not saying why, that's cheating. I'm not doing that. No? No, because I've just moved to the this... north and I'm ingratiating myself. Remember, I'm making friends. Wait, yeah, you want to ingratiate yeah, exactly. yourself? I don't know if you know a lot about the north. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, what was Rob saying about the fact that Scousers are northerners? No, oh, God, yeah. 
don't call the Scouts a Northerner. Right. They're separate. They, they're, 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 like, they're their own thing. They're like Barcelona, Catalan. Oh, uh, I mean? right. They've got their own little thing going on. They're more Irish than anything. The okay, Scouts. Yeah, they're like, yeah. we're not British, we're Scouts. They're, yeah, yeah. they're their own they're specific own thing. Vatican. And within that... They have a different culture to the rest Within of that, there are lines drawn about what is and isn't Scouse. Yeah. And so it really depends on what colour your bin is. That is the number one what thing. What colour my bin is? Yeah, if you've got a purple bin, you're Scouse. Yeah, and if not, you're a wool. And yeah. a wool is the the worst thing that you could possibly be. Yeah. Because a wool is somebody who is just outside of Liverpool, but who tries to ingratiate themselves yeah. with oh, the like Liverpool Oh, like people from Guildford in London. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Got it. Okay. I'll be, I, I'll be keeping an eye. I'm going to be keeping these Scouse rules pretty hard and fast. And there fun. are a yeah. lot of them. There okay, are great. an awful lot of them. Yeah, unfortunately, a Scouse rule is uh, don't be a grass and snake your mates. <laughs> so uh, that's, also, that's also one. Don't betray friends that's also a scouse guys, rule, i'm gonna be so. i'm gonna be the mediator who like is i'm gonna be that kid at glastonbury who's just like guys i just connection and love and we're gonna see that all humans are humans can you uh tell them from me that i hope they all get ball cancer <laughs> even the women no, i hope they get I'll balls and then they get email. cancer yeah, yeah. yeah tell them for me that i'm not represented at the moment <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i'm sure they'll be beating a door down to you yeah <laughs> Get me a rape yeah. joke guy. We need a rape joke guy around here. Stephen actually asked to come and see uh, the gig in London, and I just never got back to him. What from Avalon? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. No, what genuinely. the Dead Men Talking for tour? Yeah, yeah. Fab. This was before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you? What is the situation now? Well, the situation now is uh, that we've uh, we challenged them at every stage of the legal uh, challenges against it. They uh, just kept sort of like pushing things down the road, not replying to uh, processes that they'd begun and stuff like yeah, that. They, they were just obfuscating in a really annoying they way. They basically refused to engage in anything in good faith because they knew that they didn't have mm. any like actual fucking yeah. thing. To, basically, they knew that what they were doing was spurious, so they refused to engage with it, but kept trying to get everything that we've done, cancelled and taken off. And yeah, just trying to use like uh, the complaint systems through Patreon and YouTube to fuck us rather than going through the actual channels they need to and doing it repeatedly when we repeatedly invited them to just sue us. We were like, look, if you think we've done something wrong, sue us because we haven't and you can fuck off. So it's got to the point yeah. where we fought them all the way through. Uh, we fought them, we beat them on YouTube and Patreon through those systems. We invited them to sue us. Uh, they, back, they basically, they haven't backed down formally. They just sort of have gone away mm -hmm. for a bit. So we released it on YouTube publicly. It's because of all my hard work. And, and my uh, no, it's probably right? more the fact that I spoke to Alex Horn. I think he's probably more of the mediator than you. Thanks, Hattie. Uh, Alex Horn was sound as fuck, by the way. I just want to say, Alex Horn was uh, absolutely, totally sound when I spoke to him. He was like, he was dead cool. Didn't really, like, he didn't know anything about it. Yeah. But And then it did go away after that. So maybe Alex intervened. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. But he was sound. I've got no yeah. beef with him. I've just got a beef with everyone else at Avalon. Sure. Yeah. Just read the suing thing. I would just like to flag one thing, which is, you know, welcoming the suing. Freddie just tried to use your company card on £8.45 in Sainsbury's local and it got declined. Yeah, his so, card stopped working. Mine's okay. fine. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. You need to, you just need to speak to the bank it's been oh, going no. on for weeks I've, I've got fucking... stuff that I need to yeah. do though, Freddie's I? meant to be the one who sorts all the stuff out. you yeah, know yeah, he's meant yeah. to be like the organised one who sorts stuff out keeps all the business side going but he can't use his card to buy £8 no, worth of pot fine. I'm a I'm a busy guy yeah he is and we uh -huh. should you should patreon him sorting out that air conditioning unit because that was brilliant that was thanks mate yeah really well done yeah really well done really handing me of, those yeah. ice packs to <laughs> put in it <laughs> oh, a great job my favourite was when I sent him to fill water in the bucket and he filled it about a third of the way up but coming back so proud I couldn't tell him off no. he just looked so happy with himself I'm like that'll do so I'll tell, you, I'll tell you I'll tell you what the uh, what my thought process was behind that I thought the line was perhaps a little too high because you're going to be putting things into it and that would make the water rise. Right. And then yeah. when well, I saw like how air. small... Thank you, Archimedes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we've all been in a full bath before. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, that's how, that's because of how you judge getting in the bath, in it? Yeah, I bet when you run the like bath, a it's like yeah. a fucking centimetre deep. It gets in, it's like splash <laughs> over the sides. Oh, no, it's my like turn. Judge it. You rake up. Yeah, just fills the whole bath. I bet um, it just sort of moulds to the shape of it just with little toes popping out the top. We, should we watch some videos? Yeah, I think Hattie needs upsetting after that oh, vicious God, no, betrayal. I know. I know. Uh, yeah. Let me have a little look. Right, we'll start with uh, we'll start with a fun one. The uh, second one from the left side, the one of the shirtless man. There we mm -hmm. go. Uh, this was sent us into by uh, Jody. I read it. Uh, hello, Go Jody. Ahead. This is the glizzy gobbler. Pause it. Just wait, click wait, pause. Wait, wait, wait. Just click pause, pause it. 
So what we've got here is oh. we've got ourselves a shirtless fella. Glitzy. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's wearing uh, absolutely nothing topless wise. Got some jeans on. Little shitty tattoo over one of his pectorals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And glasses. And he's got three carrots. He's got in super No, no, they are not on. carrots. Um, so basically, they're not carrots. But the guy looks like if uh, me and Lomas, like if you do a Venn diagram yeah. of me and Lomas, this is the middle quadrant. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you two shared a cousin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, these uh, like those are, aren't carrots. Those are. Glizzies, which is an American slang for hot dogs. So, so this is glizzy. the Glizzy Gobbler. So if you want to play from here, so let's have America. a little listen to the Glizzy Gobbler. Go ahead, right, from yo, the side, no, no sleight of hand. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? It's your boy Glizzy Gobbler. I'm back at it again, <laughs> slipping hot dog to my parents' driveway. <laughs> up to no good on a Sunday. <laughs> oh! No sleight of hand coming. My Get God! No sleeves, no shirt, no problem. Three Glizzies. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> tell me, tell me I'm hiding them. They're in your lungs, right? That's what everyone oh, thinks. Yeah. Oh no. <gasps> no, I swallowed them boys. No hot dog is known victory over me. To be fair, that's how Freddy eats as well. Yeah, it is. That's how Freddy eats hash browns. <laughs> it was like it's it, it was like, gone. It's like having a hoover for a mouth. Yeah. Oh, I've never... like, that's the pressure that, that Titan sub was at. I've I've never been more jealous. I know, like you genuinely gasped us like <gasps> You've just seen a new thing is possible. Mate, I feel does like Jasmine, sh- like a whole does new out, world. Does he shut out whole Frankfurt? Just I reckon they'll break down a bit, you know. Bet they don't. Honestly, like well, in that him- tummy, he hasn't got anything in there. There's no enzymes. There's nothing there. Look at him. I think, like, uh, yeah, like uh, I bet know, he shits him out like a ballistic missile. Yeah, I reckon he does. Yeah, if yeah he's same at the other end. Down, yeah. yeah, but like, uh, yeah, like if you shut out a whole hot dog, that'd be great. It's Can we a just discuss that the kids are there watching it? This is like when they do at family events. Yeah, they yeah. Round yeah. Up the kids. There's two kids in the back of the shot. They're just like, they're like, hey. Darren, go, 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 go. Wouldn't you rather see that than a clown? 100%. I love how he said as well, hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy. It's your boy, Glizzy. Boy, Glizzy Gobbler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and his mum's boot cut jeans. Go on. Uh, Right, we'll go for the one on the left. I think this is just like a fight video one. and then Lovely, love a fight video. Love a fight video. This is just a guy going mental. This one's also from Jody, actually. So Um, this is uh, two people. It looks American again, doesn't doesn't it? it, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll play it. Okay. Okay. Oh, so it's a guy just smashing fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody's windows. He's in. like throwing like so it's a guy wandering around outside someone's house throwing like bricks at it. There's a couple of dudes. Oh, that guy's a distance. fucking unit as well. He's yeah. a big old fella, him, isn't he? There's no, in the light he's not gonna him. be useful. In the light blue. No, he looks hard as fuck. I think he is. Yeah. Oh, in the light blue. Light blue, light blue, blue. Oh, light blue yeah, yeah. oh yeah, the fucking dark, dark blue's blue. just chunky. Dark he looks yeah. strong, but dark he's not gonna be a plays athletic. golf, but has always told us oh, he's in a fight. Yeah. He's smashing someone else's windows. Oh, that was a bit of a shit throw. He's Why is he smashing everybody's windows? He's gone Why right is he just got a big rock? There's the window. Get Uh-oh. Him. Get him. <laughs> oh, someone just ran him Shit! over. Oh! <laughs> he gets run over with a golf buggy. This is the most Florida thing I've ever seen it's in my unreal, whole life. It's unreal, isn't it? Absolutely Florida. So American. Like, just absolutely. And it gets taken Oh, my God, a... he's twitching underneath there. And he's being held by the golf buggy. Yeah, well, like, it's good that that guy got out of it because he is a fat cunt driving That's it. That's unreal. Can we just go back to the bit where he gets run over? Uh, if you just start playing it again, then drag it across, Simon. Can I just say again what a wonderful job you oh, do? He's Simon, doing so well. He's got so a mastery, so hasn't he? Oh, look at that. He's straight to the right oh, bit. It's Simon, like, oh. if you play it from there, that's perfect. Man Thank and you, machine mate. in what? perfect what harmony. Really, what I really love as well is like the moment he gets hit, he bends down to pick up another rock and he gets hit up the arse. Oh. Like, just rewind it. That Let's hurt. have a look again here from here. Look, okay. he's bending down and he goes right up his backside. Cinematographer could be great. Look, he throws that through the window. Dan. He's going for another rock. Didn't even see oh, he's dropped it. Didn't even it. See it. Bonk. Oh, <laughs> out of nowhere. And then he gets oh my full God. on run this over. This is by the, the best golf moment buggy. of this guy's life. The guy driving the golf buggy is going to dine out on this till he dies. Do you know what, as well, time. though, is how cool he gets off it? Like yeah. he does it all the time. He's like, yep. Yeah. Sound that. He's mate. like Police Chief Garner in Baywatch. Remember, he always came in at just the right yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe get the buggy off him. Nah, restraining him. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely restrained. He's restrained. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Thanks, Josh. And he'll be like, he'll be like, he'll call it a citizen's arrest as well. Yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, three more. Any uh... right? Uh, oh, by the way, for... whilst one's loading up, go on. Which one are we going for? Oh, I'll tell you in a second. Um, we need to read the number out. Oh seven three five four one eight eight 
257. That's on WhatsApp. Please send us in the videos. Uh, there's been a bit of like, uh, we've like run out of the backlog because we changed the number over. So if you've sent one before that's not been on, please send it again and uh, send us loads in. Send us the worst video on your phone. Uh, but we're looking for, the rules are no death, no racism, no kids and no animals. But of course, as ever, if you can get all four, that's a full house, send it in. Uh, so the number again is 07354 188257. The one we're going to look for now is the second from the right, if you can, Simon. That one there. Thank you very much. Uh, this one I think you'll particularly enjoy. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 So do you want to describe what you're seeing? It's a man dressed. Oh, oh, it's a man. Watch it, Freddie. It's a man dressed as a pig. Going ham on some beans. And on the beans, by the way, uh, Freddie is still going to be eating beans for the 2,000 patrons. We've just had a lot going on. We were going to do it in one. There's beans stuff out. We'll wait. When Tom's back, he's eating some beans. Oh, sorry. Can we... you dress up like this when you eat your beans? No, not a chance. Can we discuss the fact that he's given himself trotters? Like he's painted it. He's got a little trotters hands. on. And like I like the t shirt as well. But yeah. With the just weird how close. Pink face. Just this how close. Is what... I want to get this... it from the right angle. This is yeah. what happens when the dopamine from likes and views warps your brain. The, 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 yeah. Well, but, honest, is... but within a week, Keir Starmer will be in Parliament talking about people identifying as pigs because he's seen this TikTok. Oh, my God. Yeah. Can is... we watch it again, please? Uh, so how many likes and things did it get, though? That's why I want to know. Oh, I don't know. know. I'm not on, on this TikTok. Yeah, we there's nothing worse, it. is there? There's when nothing... you're like, oh, a million? Oh. There's, there's nothing worse than like coming across an Instagram of a girl fucking plugging her OnlyFans and you look and she's got like 800 followers. And you're like, come on, you're showing Vag. How have you got, have you got three likes on your clip? What's going on? Oh. Well, I really enjoyed that one. That oh, was a lot of fun. Oh, God. Yeah, it's nasty. And then he just, like, takes off the makeup and, like, goes yeah. back to work. Do yeah. You know I mean? Oh, like, this guy does not have a no, job. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that, we're done with that one. Thanks, Simon. If you oh, close that God. one down. Nailed it. He's so excellent. Oh, it's so smooth. So... Right, we've got two more. One of them is gross and one of them's upsetting. Which one do you want? Uh, gross first. We've got gross. That's the middle one. We'll finish on upsetting, you know, like an Edinburgh show. Yeah, so this which is... I'm sure you'll be doing in a couple of Get years. Yes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, I think someone called it in the, a gout <laughs> stone getting reviewed. A gout stone. I think that's what they called it in the caption. I might be wrong. But like this is... I love shit like this. Where's it coming from? That's a foot. Jesus <sighs> wept. How is that a foot? Look oh, at that looks like a toenail. It's like an engrowing toenail. Oh yeah, gosh. it's like coming out the bottom Go of the on, foot. Though. Get it. <clears throat> ah. It looks like an octopus's arm. <gasps> oh. It's like coral. Oh, wow. yeah. I love And I bet there's another one. Can you see next yeah, to it? There's, there's like more. a pustule bit. Oh, oh, yeah. but that's what your feet look like, isn't that. it, Freddie? Well, sorry. But that's what your feet look like. Not far off. I've got gross feet. Yeah. It looks like a chicken select. <laughs> it does. It probably does. <laughs> if you play it backwards, it looks like he's dipping it into barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, 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 God. Oh, that rewind is rough. Oh. Uh, right. Maybe last... that's what it was. That's just where he was stashing it. Yeah, maybe he's just having a little last snack. Last one, are we last one. Old? This one, they're definitely fine. Oh. Okay, they're definitely fine. Probably. It looks like a car crash. Right, okay, so it's it, right. So, okay, so if you had to guess, what happens next? <laughs> <laughs> we like doing what happens so, next rounds on this. So it's a motorway. It's a guy on a bike, and it's a big and old it feels, truck it feels turning. Asian. It's definitely Asian. There are Asian characters yeah. on the signs. Eesh. Oh my god. Oh, he's up. He's up. It's he's so, fine. He's they're fine. Just out. They just got fine. It's so fast. So yeah. he, he do how know, I, I don't know what the it, fuck happened. You know what I will say? I went to Disney World once and they did the Indiana Jones experience and that happened, the guy was fine. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. happy ending. So like for people who yeah. are just listening on the audio, it's a guy rides a motorbike into the side of a truck and then immediately just sets on fire out of nowhere. But in the crevice between the yeah, van so a, and the and the and the holder. It's not like it's a that, truck full know. of petrol. No. It's like a scrap Cold. van. It looks scrap Ooh. in the back of it. Do you think he's having a fag? Maybe and he's gone into a fuel tank yeah. or something. You know, there's like a well. fuel yeah, cap. Yeah, yeah. Well, because the tank on the motorbike's right at the front, isn't it? It's mm. like in front of you, so it could be that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's smoking a fag and he's gone into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Do you drive a motorbike, Simon? No, I just know my shit. Yeah. <laughs> Because he's the best producer in the game. Best producer but in the you game. Know everything, Simon. Fucking brilliant. Can we just uh, say it one more time? Like, yes, what's it happening? Let's go. There we go. Right. Yeah. I hope this music's royalty free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's fine. He's rolling he's around. Fine. But he goes up fucking quick, innit? I love the guy who's in the truck just gets out and fucks off. Yeah, he just runs like, away. Yeah. yeah. Well, there is coal Sensible. on the back of it. Is it coal? 
I think that's scrap metal. Right. It's that if, if if that was and coal that though, be. like coal doesn't go up that quickly. No, but you'll have a, a cracking fire going in half an hour. I've, oh I've, yeah. I've yeah. seen Soho House trying to light their fires in the winter, and it takes a minute. Let me tell you. <laughs> Avalon Soho House. <laughs> <laughs> changed, doesn't she? Uh, I don't know if she changed. I think she was always a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got someone to validate it. <laughs> well, I got industry professionals to validate it. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the podcast. Hat, is there anything you want to plug? You're doing your Edinburgh show in two years <laughs> for, yeah. for ten thousand yeah. pounds. Uh, do you want to plug that massive amount of debt you're going to get into very soon? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleasant's Courtyard. Yeah. yeah. When are we going to see you on Celebrity Tenable? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the stand-up sketch show needs a new background yeah, actor. That's going to be great. Fantastic. I actually said in my first meeting, I was like, yeah. if you see me on stand-up sketch show like euthanize me immediately yeah when are you going to be on the uh, big disabled comedy showcase on dave <laughs> <laughs> can i just say this this is what i fucking love about comedy i had one of the a booker who's a mate of mine message me the other day and it's obviously it's pride month and he was like Hetty, <laughs> yes. uh, we got to do a pride show uh, Saturday. Um, any chance you've kissed a girl ever? <laughs> <laughs> uh, or have material about my, maybe like wanting to? Or <laughs> that's like, hilarious. It's Fingers so... crossed she's by. Come on, let's roll them dice. God, I've always shit themselves. Um, yeah. No, I have nothing to plug except that I now live, I'm now a northerner, but obviously but we know this. Um, mm. Move to the north and at the same time, <laughs> stab us in the back. Stab. I'm never. Yeah. I'm going to be. Instagram. Oh, yeah, I have that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking bad. To be fair, sign with Avalon. You need someone to help you with this shit. <laughs> I mean, I need help. I need help with things. Yeah. I don't understand anything. Yeah, so um, you, you've signed with the people who will give you the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah nice absolutely. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They understand how to run yeah. an Instagram. Uh, I just needed someone to treat me right. That's why yeah. I started going out with Fred West. <laughs> yeah, so your Instagram is? Pratty Heston. And that's just Hattie with PR, which yeah, is what I'm, you're going to be spending time on. <laughs> <laughs> Get on our Patreon. It's three pounds a month, and you get so much stuff. There's loads of shit on there. I've got a stand-up special coming out on this YouTube channel very soon. Don't know when though. I've had to put the date back because it's not finished yet. Anything um, you want to plug, uh, uh, producer Simon Lomas? Not just my Twitter and Instagram. Get on them. Yeah. Simon's a very funny lad. But shout out the handle, Simon. At Simon Lomas. There you go. Keeps it simple. Are like you a with uh, Are you with Avalon, Simon? No, I told him to fuck off. Yeah, I'd say, that's I'd my say, boy. I'd say follow Simon first. Follow yeah. Simon first. Follow so, Simon yeah. first, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you for being here. Uh, no, I wasn't talking to you, Hattie. <laughs> I was talking to, <laughs> talking to producer Simon, who's done... Can, what an amazing job Simon's Guys, done. Can we just give him one more job. round of applause? <laughs> Simon, you've been... Brilliant. One of the extra impressive things is he's used to work, uh, working with such better equipment mm, yeah, and he's yeah, managed yeah. to dumb himself down yeah. to Tom's level yeah. and yeah. still surpass him. He's literally got an Looking abacus for... and a biro back there. Looking very just... tall as well, may I say, Simon. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. tall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and quite, nice. I'm really like hetero as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. See you next week. Fuck off. Fuck off.